Welcome to the Timberland Farms YouTube channel. My name's Anthony and with me today is my dog Timber. And behind me is an IBC tote that I had just had filled up with uh, pig feed. So we're gonna get this unloaded. We're gonna try out storing pig feed in an IBC tote and I'll take you guys along with how I'm actually gonna achieve that. It should keep the feed dry for me at least. All right, let's cross our fingers. Hope this thing starts. We're in neutral. This has a new battery as you saw in the last video and I just replaced the alternator. We have smoke, so that's a good sign. It'll go, it, it definitely will go. It's about 30 degrees outside right now. I need to work on the starter though. There we go. And I'll uh, unhook my bale spear and grab the set of paddle forks. That's right, I gotta undo this strap first. I have to push on that with a tractor. There we go. Got it. I like that. Now I have a work surface to climb up on. New tailgate for this truck is supposed to be coming tomorrow. That'll be nice. I'm not quite sure if this tractor's gonna pick it up, but we're gonna try. Nice and easy. thousand pounds of pig feed for our little piglets. About all she wants. So thankful to have our steering.
use this guy to level out a little bit. There we go. Because this is a slight little slope. It'll be plenty right there. Beautiful. Let's set her down and see what, how that looks. Nice and easy. Get out and see how that looks. Looks like you need to back up about three inches. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. How's we look on the other side? We're overhanging a little bit, but that's kind of what I want. You'll see here in a minute. All right, we'll call that good. Park the tractor and uh, move on to the next step. So here's the gate valve that is on the, it's like a butterfly valve that you see inside a carburetor. There's a little shut off in there. I have to remove that in order to make this work. Uh, so my plan is I'm raise this up so I can fit a five gallon bucket underneath of this. Right, buddy? Yeah, we're gonna fit a five gallon bucket underneath there. And then we're also going to put an auger in there powered by a drill. And I'll show you what I got from that and we'll have to cut it up. But first I wanna see what it takes to take this thing apart. I think we just need a pry bar. And pry that top off and go from there. Right, buddy? You go everywhere with me. you be my best friend forever. Yeah, you helping. You're helping Becky even kisses. Yeah, you're gonna have to back up so I can, so I can work, yeah. That just lifts off like that. Easy peasy. Now I'm gonna try pulling that shaft out with my pliers. You just want all the love and stones, you? Yeah, you're selfish. You want all of them, all to yourself. Let's see if this shaft will come out. It looks like maybe if I use a pry bar. Yep, there we go. So there's the inside of that butterfly valve. Everything's a hammer, unless it's a screwdriver, then it's a pry bar. Now we could probably just go in there and pull out our butterfly valve. There's something, I think this on threads here. Let me grab some big channel locks and see if that'll help us. So I got some channel locks. Hopefully that will outside ring will come off. But I also grabbed this. Yeah, this is for you. Yeah. Stick this in the ground and you can twist it. Then you hook your good old timber up to this and he won't run away. But he's such a good boy, he doesn't need this. So I'm gonna clean this up now that I got dirt on it. Cut this off, hook my drill to it and hopefully auger the feet out. Yep. So, back up, sit, let's see. I'm not too concerned about damaging the threads on this. I just want my feed. I bet the pigs do too. They don't give you a whole lot of room to work.
I don't think that comes off that way. Maybe since now I squeezed it, this will come out. It is like hard stopping right there where this begins. All right, if the, if the needle nose vice grips don't work, plan D, E, somewhere around there as a hammer and a chisel. You don't have to chip it away out of here. I can't believe we've got to do this just for a little piece of plastic. We're going to clamp the heck out of this thing and yank like we don't got any yanking left. Oh. There we go. I guess we don't need plan E. Plan C worked just fine. Clamp your vice grips on there. I sticked my pry bar in between the jaws here, what I had left. Now I can't get these apart because I squeezed them so hard. I need a pliers to undo my pliers. There we go. And then this goes on there. That might come in handy for something someday. We'll stick that up there, just in case. Next up is our auger. We gotta create. So I'm just gonna cut this just be just after the dog tied on point. Now it's probably off, yeah, that's definitely off centered. Let's get our drill. Darn piglets are starving. We gotta hurry up. Um. Wow. I don't know how this is gonna work. Let's go hose this off, get a bucket, and try this out. We might be able to just buy a bend this into correct orientation, but we're gonna give this a shot. Oh, we need a cardboard chute. Oh boy, I got the drill in there. That's gonna make a mess. Let's try this now. My everyday carry, because I wear a hat, it's a clip-on headlamp. However, the chute is a little too long, I think. I'm gonna knock this down, cut this in half. Oh yeah, I think that's the ticket. Just, just to catch it just a little bit. I'm gonna bend that, see if I can make that work until the bulb planter works. The bulb planter bit shows up in the mail because I'm gonna order that tonight, but that should get us by for a little while. I'm gonna plug that up with a rag so critters don't get in there, but this is my waterproof bulk feed storage. You got a thousand pounds for my six piglets. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more as I continue on as Timberland Farms and formerly 67 IH Farmer.